super review show here for this Wonder Woman trailer review. If you have not seen the trailer, the link is for it is in the description of this video. Okay, here we go. I just literally just watched this trailer for the first time. It looks really good. For a female, I'm not trying to judge it because it's a female superhero movie, but just, it's just, it looks really good. It looks like a good movie. It says in June it's going to come out, which is not that far away. Like, like, uh, Spider-Man's coming out in like May or July or something like, something, like, something like that. Wonder Woman comes out in June. The first female-led superhero movie in a very long time, if you want to acknowledge all of them, is, been, is coming out in June. Now, this one looks a lot better because I think right now we're in a better state of comic book movies than we were when Elektra and Catwoman came out. Let's just keep that in the context for a sec, right? So... Okay, so there's that. This trailer was really good. It was a great. It was the, the, the it wasn't the teaser, but this was the first one. Um, I really liked it. I really liked how the how she finds Steve Trevor after he falls from the sky, and they're like, "Why? Why is this man here?" Things like that, and you know, it's thing. And he's like, I'm, "I want to. I'm in the war to end all wars," which. I'm not a military expert, and I'm not a history expert, so forgive me if I get this wrong. The war to end all wars was World War One. Okay, I, as far as I know, it's World War One. So this makes the, her she's very old, like very old. Um, Chris Pine is looking great, and, and truth be, I think he's a great actor who hasn't done much aside from Star Trek. So I think he's going to do great in this other franchise in the DC universe, and I really think. That this, I believe you can kind of tell, just spending the little bits we got, you can tell that Wonder Woman wants to break out of the island of the Amazonians. She wants to adventure out into the world. And it looks like she does. And But she's trying to fit in at the same time. She can't carry a sword into a fight. You know, that's just crazy. And then she's fighting for the side of justice. You know, things like that. Little tidbits are popping up here. And actually, this, the, it opens up with uh, Diana looking at a picture in a, uh, in a box. And that's modern day. You can just tell it's modern day. And there, I don't know what building she's at, but she said it's a glass building. And it could be the Hall of Justice. I could be wrong, though. But she's looking, I think she, this movie will take place in flashback sequence where she's going to be thinking about everything that happens and we're going to witness all that and then we're going to go back to the present. And we're like, yeah, I remember that. It could be something like that. I could be wrong, though. That's just my guess. Um, but what do you guys think about this trailer? Did you like it? Did you think it was really cool? Did, are you excited about the DCEU no matter what? Please leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't checked out the trailer yet, it's in the description of this video so you guys can check it out. Excuse me. But for all of your Wonder Woman updates and DC trailer reviews, keep it locked in the Review Show. J-Man, off to work. I'll see you guys later.